Okay, join in. Yes, it is hard to read the book, but you can't get away from it, okay? It's very tedious, it's very boring, but you just have to. All right, we're going to start in one minute, okay? I'm going to do a countdown and we'll start, so please join. All right, I'm doing a countdown now. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get ready to run. So this question is frequently asked and also a variation of this question is asked as Danish values. So the legal age to get married in Denmark is 18 and above. All right, on to the next one. We talked about this already. Okay, I guess three people weren't listening, but at least less people failed at this time. Moving on to the next one. Brenda is out. Lucy, number two. TCT, number three. NBA and Arif, number four and five. All goals, the highest climber up 16 places. Next one. Frequently asked as well. Okay, so seven people got this wrong. This is a frequently asked question. You need to know the answer to this question. All right, I'm going to say something. Let's have a look at the podium and then I'll say something. Okay, so it's Ricardo, MBA, TCT, Robert, and Arif. 13 places, margin is the highest climber up 13 places. Okay, so the exam is a combination of frequently asked questions and new questions. Now that the rules have changed, there are more new questions, okay? And um, a couple years ago, so maybe 2019, 2018, even 2020, you could get away with just knowing the frequently asked questions. But as soon as they released the new material and changed the rules, that changed as well. Okay? So on to the next one. So as you can see, 2018 is just a bunch of frequently asked questions. You would have seen all these questions before. Well, hopefully, if you've been practicing, I can see 12 people got this wrong. <laughs> if there's anything you need to know, it's this. Okay? On to the next one. Wow. Okay, so Ricardo, gone. He said he answered too fast. TCT, number one. Robert is number two. Depatha, number three. Arif, number four. PEO, number five. And Oof is the highest climber up 13 places. 
All right, so we still have 36 questions to go. So Stor Belt Braun was built in the 90s. Lila Belt Braun was built in the 70s. The second one was built in the 70s. The first one was built in the 30s. And Orson's Braun was built in the 2000s. Okay, so these are frequently asked questions about the bridges and about the bodies of water between the islands and the peninsula. And of course, between Sweden as well. So get to know these questions. These are frequently asked. And if you practice um, with all the quizzes, the frequently asked questions quizzes, Go through all the exams, go through all the um, quizzes, chapter by chapter, sub chapter by sub chapter. You're going to know all these things. Okay. Next one. RF is now number one. Robert number two. Depanta number three. Dundio number four. PEO number five. Three players reach an answer streak of four. Excellent. All right. We still have 35 questions to go. Let's try to get through this quickly. You just saw this. I'm expecting 100%. If you guys get 100%, you get, you get an explosion as well. <laughs> is someone trying? Is, is someone trolling me? Anyways. Um, it's almost 100%. It's two from the Fire Islands. All right. Robert is now number one. So it's Robert, Arif, Dupanta, Dundio, PEO. Phyllis is the highest climber up three places. You win. Next one. You've seen this before. Kalmar Union is made up of Denmark, Norway, and Sweden, or was made up of Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. Next one. Static top five, eight players he beats an answer streak of three. This question is no longer relevant. Like I said, this question is no longer relevant, so you don't have to worry about this. Okay, next one. You just saw this. So if you guys get 100%, explosion time. Okay, two people got this wrong. At least it was less than the last time. Next one. You've seen this before. Right. Only two people got this wrong. It's 24 hours. Next one. I talked about this. So let's see how many of you are listening. Okay, 
nine people got this wrong. So, like I said before, 1864, Denmark lost the second Schleswig War, and they lost sooner you learned with it. In 1920, after World War I, Denmark had the opportunity to reunite with Suna Uland. Next one. The Panther number one, Arif number two, DSP number three, TCT four, YL five. Four players hit an answer streak of six. Excellent. Next one. So the United Nations was formed right after World War II in 1945, and Denmark joined immediately. So those are frequently asked questions. This is a frequently asked question. So get to know this, the six people that got this wrong. Vienna is back in the game three in a row, and he or she is on fire. I'm not sure. So you win. Next one. All right, so 14 people got this wrong in nine, between 20, 1929 and 1933. That was the Great Depression. So that was a worldwide economic crisis. And at the time, Torvald Stowning, who was the first social democratic prime minister, was the prime minister. And he helped create this settlement called the Kanzler Gell Settlement. And it's called the Kanzler Gell Settlement because his office was on Kanzler Gell. And that settlement was about the economy and how to make the economic, the economic crisis a bit milder for the people. All right, moving on to the next one. And actually, I think this was around the time where the welfare state was created. But anyways, don't quote me on that. All of this stuff is in the book. Next one. All right. Okay, almost 100%. Only two people got this wrong. These numbers are looking good. For the two people now, you know what you don't know. You get to know that because that is frequently asked. 20 players just hit an answer streak of six. Wow. Wow. Round of applause. No longer relevant. And if you look closely, you might recognize someone's face. Yeah, so Pia Kiesko was the lady that was sitting in between those two men. But obviously, you're not going to see any pictures in the exam. So yeah, that was just for fun. And like I said, this question is no longer relevant. So moving on. So the Reformation, um, Denmark became a Protestant country um, after the Reformation. 
or during the Reformation, Denmark used to have a Catholic church. And after that, they had a Protestant church. Okay, moving on. Next one. 13 players just hit an answer streak of eight. Excellent. On the podium, we have Arif, D Panther, and DSP. We have Wael and Marjan at number four and five. Next one. Almost halfway there. Okay, 21 people got this wrong. This is surprising. This is a frequently asked question. This, yeah, you know, get to know this. This is definitely one of those ones you have to know the answer to. Johan Utsun designed the Opera House in Sydney. While is out, NBA is back in. Ten players reached an answer streak of nine. You win. Almost halfway there. Eighty to ninety percent, so it, it has the highest turnout. The Folketing election has the highest turnout, and we have one on November the first. Okay, this is frequently asked, so please get to know this. The twelve people that got this wrong. NBA climbing the charts. Ebu is back with an answer streak of three. Excellent. Almost halfway through. We've seen this before. So judges are not allowed to wear religious symbols because they are supposed to be unbiased when judging cases. All right, next one. Marjan is out, SA is in, DJ is back in the game three in a row, and he or she is on fire. We're halfway through now. Surprised, 25 people got this wrong. Um, we've seen this a whole bunch of times. This is actually one of the most frequently asked questions. So in 1807, England bombarded Copenhagen and captures captured Denmark's fleet. This was during the Napoleon Wars. And um, if you go to um, Rosenborg, the castle, you would see um, just right opposite the botanical gardens, the wall facing the botanical gardens, you would see a cannonball from 1807 still in the wall. And right beneath it, you will also see the date, 1807. So that's a fun fact. This is frequently asked, so please get to know this, the 25 people that got this wrong. Well, nobody in the top five got this wrong, so that's good. Five players just reached an answer streak of five. Where past the halfway mark now. So if Arif catches fire, then he's going to get an explosion.
12 to 13 percent are immigrants and their descendants. Next one. We've seen this before. Okay, not bad. Only three of you all got this wrong. Round of applause. Static top five. Next one. Ahmad, so chapter four, a lot of chapter four is new and there's different parts of the book that are new as well. Okay, so um, 80%, about 70 to 80% of um, Denmark's population are actually members of the Volker Kirchen. Next one. Frequently asked as well. Wow. Okay. You guys get an explosion for this. All right. Round of applause. Okay, so I can see 16 people got this wrong. I keep talking about the list, you know, go to the part of the book that talks about this, make that list. It's relevant, okay? So they keep asking this question over and over again, and they ask about different things in the list. So make the list, okay? Next one. Right, a million more. Four people got this wrong. This is frequently asked. Static top five, except Marjan. Six players just hit an answer streak of six. Excellent. Right, so um, during the Viking times, Harold Blotund um, wrote on the yelling stones that he brought Christianity to Denmark. So the Danish church was founded in Viking times. Next one. DSB fell to number five. NBA now on the podium. Margin at number four. And Arif and Dipatha are holding their number one and two spots. Four players just hit an answer streak of six. Seen this before.
So there was a referendum in 1972 and majority of people voted yes. In 1973, Denmark joined the European Union. Static top five. Yes, so in the 1800s, um, the farmers came together to pool their resources and form Andales for Unis. Okay, and a bit of that still lives on in the Andales apartments. And also, um, I think Ala is one of the oldest um, Andales. For, no, yeah, it's a co op. And it's um, Ala is the one that produces yogurt and milk and all those all those um, dairy products. This is frequently asked, so please get to know this if you got this wrong. Eleven people got this wrong. Okay, so Arif has a streak with twenty nine answers in a row. He is number one and he's on fire, so he gets an explosion. Congratulations, man. I think this is your first explosion ever. Next one. Right, 12 people got this wrong question is should a minister be a member of parliament it is not a requirement that a minister should be a member of parliament however most of the time ministers are members of parliament but the prime minister can choose someone from outside um, the the Folketing to be a minister although that rarely happens on to the next one this guy <laughs> Another explosion, man. By the way, Arif has been coming consistently. He's been putting in a lot of work in this thing. I can also tell he's reading the book, okay? So this guy deserves what he's getting right now. All right, we have 10 questions to go. Um, how many people? 13 people got this wrong. This is semi frequently asked. Um, so when there was a change of generations in the 60s, the young people began to ask, began to question a lot of traditional values. And um, the nuclear family was one of the things that they questioned a lot back in the day. Next one. We're almost done. 16 players just hit an answer streak of four. Eight questions to go. Yes, so the Cold War ended around the time the Gulf War started in the 90s. Um, I could see 25 people got this wrong. Not so frequently asked, but it does appear every now and again. So this is something that you need to know. Static top five.
Faroe Islands. Okay, so the question is, which of the following countries in, is in the least fellas cave with Denmark? It's Faroe Islands, Greenland, and Denmark are part of least fellas cave. All right, next one. Pan Pain 0049 is back with an answer streak of three. Excellent. We're almost at current affairs. Nineteen fifty-three. Bright Ostrich seventy-four is back in the game three in a row. Round of applause. We've seen this a whole bunch of times. Probably going to show up in the next exam as well. Seven people got this wrong. Niels Bohr is known for um, the model of the atom. And he won a Nobel Prize for it in 1922. So the Nobel Prize in physics. And by the way, this year, a Dane also won the Nobel Prize in chemistry. Marjan is on fire. 35 correct answers in a row. That's a perfect score. Perfect. All right, so we're done with history. We're moving into current affairs. This is from 2018. I don't expect you to know what was going on then. Pay attention to the theme of the question. As we go through the questions, we will be discussing the themes. All right, so moving on. Okay, so yeah, 42 people got, well, 47 people got this wrong, so almost all of you. Doesn't matter, okay? So what matters is the theme. And the theme of this question is some major event being hosted in Denmark, okay? So this year, the Tour de France was hosted in Denmark. And everybody knows what Tour de France is. And coincidentally, the uh, Tour de France was won by a Dane. So those two major things happened this year. I repeat, the theme of this question is a major event held in Denmark. Okay? So keep that in mind. On to the next one. Okay, so the theme for this is, in general, it's performing arts, right? Specifically, TV series, movies, and books. Okay, something, that, something that's happened recently that's popular. So in 2019, they asked about the premiere of a movie, a Danish movie called Dwoningen. 2018, they were asking about Born, the TV series on DR. So what I would suggest is go and make a list of the TV series showing on DR right now and go and check for new Danish movies. Okay? On to the next one. All right, 
so the theme is political parties and their leaders. Son Pei Paulson is the leader of the Conservative People's Party in Denmark. There is a quiz on nearlydanish.com that contains all the political parties and their leaders. However, this is an election year, so I highly doubt. Well, okay, this, you know, they could ask about this, but they're more likely to ask about um, the parties that just got um, the right to be elected into the parliament. Anyways, as the exam draws closer, we will be focusing a lot more on current affairs and Danish values as we get closer and closer to the exam. All right, moving on. So I repeat again, the theme of this is political parties and their leaders. So make that list of all the political parties and their leaders. I see that Arif actually posted something in the group today. So go check that out and also check out the quizzes. All right, next one. Two thousand eighteen Liberal Alliance was in a coalition with um, can't remember who. I think it was Conservative People's Party and Venstre, and Radical Venstre as well. I think. Anyways, um, the theme of this is the government. Um, most recently, it's been a um, the Prime Minister was from the Social Democratic Party, and all her ministers were also from the Social Democratic Party. So a question like this would kind of be redundant. However, the theme is the government, meaning the prime minister and his or her ministers. However, there is an election on the 1st of November. So this, you know, asking about something like this, maybe, maybe not, but pay attention to that. Let's see what the results are going to be. And um, we'll see what happens. So we're moving on to the next and the last question. Okay, right now we have Arif at number one, MBA at number two, and Phyllis, is this the first time Phyllis is on the podium? Phyllis is at number three. The Panther fell to number four, and Marjan is at number five. Volgol is back in the game three in a row. Excellent. And round of applause for Phyllis. All right, we're going to the last question. All right, so the theme of this is anniversaries and birthdays that are a multiple of 10. So this year, the Queen celebrated, I think it was, is it 50 or 70 years? Yes, 50 years of reigning as the Queen. And also this year, there is a 300th year of something. I can't remember, but I posted that stuff in the group. There will be a quiz. I'm going to make a Kahoot um, for current affairs, and it will feature all these themes. Okay? All right. So let's have a look at the final podium. Phyllis, number three, MBA at number two, and of course, Arif at number one. All right, Deepanta, four, and Marjan, five. <laughs> 